what's going on guys welcome back to the mw3 video for you guys on channel today we're going my top five meta loadouts in mw3 right now listen every one of these guns on this list are really good in this game right now there's some that i had to kind of hardly pick and choose in today's video but i think we have a nice list to give you guys in today's video Listen, if you guys are not following the Twitch yet, listen, we go live every single day on the Twitch, Wani FPS. We're going for 500 followers, fam. Make sure to drop a follow. That's where all of the live gameplays go on every single day right over there. Also, guys, you guys are not subscribed to the YouTube channel. We're grinding for 10,000 subscribers. When we hit 10,000, we're going to be giving away three copies of Modern Warfare 3 on the channel to any of our three lucky subscribers. So make sure you guys are subscribed and have those notifications turned on. Like the video. Let's do for 100 likes on today's video, guys. Twitch is crazy class setup and the crazy gameplay. And I'll catch y'all later. Peace. Well, listen, guys, without further ado, let's get into today's top five metal loadouts. All right, fam, coming in with load number one, we got the Bass B Battle Rifle in MW3. Listen, this is one of my favorite guns we are using in the beta. Ended up using it in the full game release. And this thing is just really incredible right now. Definitely a nice two to three shot at a lot of nice ranges. Let's go and get into today's class with the Bass B. All right, fam, starting with the first tattoo, we got the 45 round mag in our Bass B. I just think having a little bit of extra ammo, you know, in the mag is always really helpful. When you go on, you want to go for streaks and high kill gains in MW3. Guys, coming in with our next attachment, I'm going to go with the hollow point rounds. Listen, these things are really good in this game right now. I get a lot of people complaining in game chat saying I'm using these things. Pretty much just gives you a nice crippling power, which pretty much means that it stuns your enemy while you're shooting them. Now, guys, for the underbarrel, I ended up going with the XRK Edge B4 4 hand stop underbarrel. Pretty much what I'm going to do is allow you to move around the map a lot faster, get that movement speed, get that aim walking speed with the strafe left to right, and also get that nice ADS speed and sprint to fire time speed as well. Guys, for our next attack, we're going to go with the Bruin Venom Long Barrel. Pretty much, this is exactly what it says it's going to do. It's going to increase bullet velocity and the range. Pretty much allowing your bullets to travel farther, but also allowing them to travel a lot faster at the same time. Now, you're also going to get that recoil control with the vertical. You're going to get enemy idle sway control and gun kick control. Pretty much helping you control any vertical horizontal kick that this gun does have. But guys, for our last attachment, we got the slight reflector. Now listen, this is just my favorite optic in the game right now. I think it's the cleanest one for all ARs. Pretty much this is coming back from the Vanguard optics. This is still the most cleanest thing in the game. Guys, this is my favorite Bass B class setup right now in MW3, guys. Make sure to give it a shot. Definitely, I had to put this in my top five. This thing's really incredible. But listen, out of loading number three, fam. Alrighty, fam, coming in with loading number two, we got the Rival 9 SMG. Listen, this gun is actually really good. Definitely being used in the pro circuit right now for the SMGs. I think it's one of the most highest punching smg since the beta the striker was definitely the highest one in the beta but this one is definitely the new king smg in mw3 let's go ahead and hop into this class setup fam all right guys so coming in with the first attachment for this smg we got the 40 round mag i don't like having faraday just having an extra 10 in the mag comes in clutch especially with the rival nine now guys for the next attachment listen again i like these nine millimeter hollow point rounds on the smgs in this game that crippling power effect does a lot in this game and helps out a lot allowing you to get those quick and fast easy precise kills that you want to be getting now guys for our next attachment we ended up going with the bruin cubic comp pretty much this is actually from mw2 it's a muzzle i like this on the smgs i think it's going to be really nice for controlling that horizontal and the vertical kick with your smgs but i having to put an underbarrel on it because now in my honest opinion i'm not a big fan of the underbarrels in this game but just having this on the gun helps out a lot and allows you to be beaming kids now guys for the next attachment i'm going with the rival c clear shot barrel now listen normally i don't run barrels on the smgs or any gun in this game and then i started learning when you start unlocking attachments when you get bullet velocity and damage range on a barrel you have to run this it's going to increase that bullet velocity allowing you to get a faster ttk the damage range is going to allow your bullets to travel a lot faster and for an smg that shoots like the rival 9 that's really key and the last thing that you're going to be getting from this attachment is going to be that recoil control as well now guys for our last attachment we're going with the vlk lzr 7mw laser listen this is my favorite thing to be running on smgs in this game you're gonna be getting that ads speed as well with the sprint to fire time speeds listen allowing you to be running around the map faster with that slide cancel and also getting that quick ads guys this is my rival 9 smg class setup in modern warfare 3 right now listen this is one of my favorite smgs it shoots so fast in this game it kind of seems unfair at times let's give it a shot let me know what you guys think about this smg down in the comment section down below Alrighty, guys on to Lloyd number three 
right, fam. Now, coming in with Lodi number three, we got the Striker 9 SMG. Not the regular Striker SMG in MW3, but the Striker 9. Listen, this SMG is actually better than its first Striker in the game. I think this one shoots faster, uses 9mm bullets, which definitely does pack a higher punch. I don't really put it above the Rival 9, but I definitely think it deserves a top 5 spot in today's video. Let's go into the, get into this class setup. So, I know the first Hatcher fam, we got the 40 round mag. I think just having a little bit of extra ammo with your SMGs comes with really handy with the striker nine now guys coming with the next attachment i think this is a crunch attachment on all smgs but i think this year in mw3 we have so many options for ammunitions that it's kind of hard to overlook the nine millimeter hollow point rounds these are pretty much going to give you a crippling power effect which means that every time you do land a bullet on your enemy with this specific ammunition you're going to notice that they're going to run slower but it's going to kill them a lot faster because it's actively causing them to have damage as you're shooting them but guys for the next attachment and they're going with the bruin padolum listen we used to run this a lot on the smgs in mw2 using this in mw3 was actually surprisingly a game changer pretty much what this is going to do is help you control that vertical and horizontal recoil patterns that this striker 9 does have like i said striker 9 is better than the original but um there are some downsides with it but pretty much what this is going to do is pretty much allow you to have better accuracy and better aim now guys for the next attachment we're going to striker recon long barrel now this is really cool because as you guys can see as the cons you know you do lose sprint to fire time aim walking speed none of those things really do matter because other attachments are going to cancel that out but the main focus of this barrel is pretty much giving you better bullet velocity and higher ranges with an smg the bullet velocity will allow your bullets to travel a lot faster to every target with the increasing range, allowing you to get some medium range gun engagements that you might want to win. Guys, coming with the last attachment, we're going with the VLK LZR 7MW Laser, another MW2 attachment that I think really works well with the MW3 SMGs. Guys, this is my Striker 9 class setup in MW3 right now. Listen, like I said, a heavily slept on SMG in this game. And comment down below what you guys think about this weapon. Let's go ahead and load in to load number four. Coming in with loading number four, we got the ACR from the OG MW2 and MW3. You guys know this gun had to be on today's list. This is my favorite assault rifle to be using MW3 right now. No recoil and the best damage range possible. Let's go ahead and get into loading number four, fam. All right, fam. Starting with the first attachment for our ACR, we got the 40 round mag. I think this is just a nice standard mag to have on any assault rifle in this game. I feel like 60 is too much. Pretty much kind of feel like I'm slowing myself down a little bit too much with any bigger ammo in the game. But guys, coming in with the next attachment, we're either going with the 5.56 NATO high grain rounds. What these are going to do is allow you to get better bullet velocity and better damage range as well. The bullet velocity is going to give you a higher TTK with this weapon. As most of you guys know, MW3's TTK is a little bit slower from MW2, but with certain attachments, we can obviously get that to be a lot higher. With the damage range, you're going to get a farther damage range with your assault rifles, allowing them to actually be assault rifles and then w3 and act just like them now guys for the next attachment we're gonna go with the 16.5 inch mcw cyclone long barrel this is gonna do is increase bow velocity and range but also allow you to get that aiming idle sway control with the firing aim stability pretty much all together this barrel is gonna give you a nice bullet velocity range and also get that damage range but also allow you to control your shots at long distances now guys for the next one we ended up going with the slate reflector as my optic listen this is my favorite optic in the game it's pretty clean you know you guys can choose whatever one you want in the optic section this is the only attachment that obviously does not matter but this is my favorite one to use an mw3 on this gun but guys tying this weapon all in together we have the mcw iron bark tactical stock now listen i like to have a little bit of mobility especially in a game that has movement like mw3 and putting this tack on is pretty much gonna allow you to be running around the map super fast and get those nice precise easy shots you can hit that nice little quick slide cancel around the corners on your enemies guys this is my acr class setup at mw3 right now listen give this one a try i like this one and let me know what you guys think about the acr right now in the current meta of this game this gun is just so buttery smooth it just it, it just feels like i'm on og mw3 again whenever i use this weapon so definitely try it out all right fam on to loading number five all right fam coming in with loading number five we got the mtz 556 assault rifle listen this weapon is literally one of my favorites in the game right now as well it started off really good it's still kicking a punch it just it has a really nice generous fire rate right now it's definitely a very high killing gun in the game let's go get a little number five fam all right guys coming with the first attachment, here we got the nato high grain rounds he's going to increase bullet velocity and damage range this assault rifle allowing you to get a nice generous three hit at any location on the map now right, guys for the next attachment we're going with the ftac msp 98 hand stop if you guys don't remember this was actually in like 
Vanguard, the hand stop underbarrel. In this game, I like this one. We're going to get that nice movement speed, that nice aim walking speed, which is really good for strafing left to right. But also, you're going to get that vertical recoil control and the gun kick control. Now, I know some of you might look at the cons and say, oh, you do lose some horizontal recoil control. But horizontal recoil is really not that big of a deal in this game. It's more of the vertical. And like I said, this gun doesn't really kick too much. And just having this underbarrel helps out a lot. But right, guys, coming in with the next statue, we got the Clinch Pro Barrel. Going to increase bullet velocity and damage range. Pretty much allowing you to hit your shots at farther distances and getting a faster TTK. You're going to get that aiming idle sway and that firing aim stability. It's so cool that the barrels in this game actually help you out with your aim and don't, you know, penalize you for using the barrel. Guys, for the next attachment, we ended up going with the Slate Reflector Optic. Listen, for the ARs in this game, I find this to be like the best optic. It's just very clean, and I feel like I'm just hitting more precise shots with it. Guys, for our last attachment, we ended up going with the MTZ Light Strike Telescopic Stock. What a scopic, scopic, whatever you want to call it. I think it's scopic. But anyways, this is going to increase aim walking speed and movement speed all together. I feel like movement is really key in MW3, and I think honing into my class setups, you know, I think in the future, you know... Going for movement is definitely the key in this game because the, the movement's crazy. You know, we have all, all the slide cancel going on and so many things going on in this game. This stock is the right choice. Guys, this is my loadout number five here in MW3, the MTZ556. Listen, let me know what you guys think about this loadout. I think this gun was actually the number one used loadout in the beta. As of right now, this thing is still hitting like crazy right now and I had to include it in this list. Guys, loading number six, the honorable mention. Let's get into it. My favorite gun in MW3 as of right now. For our honorable mention loadout guys in today's video i had to go after the dg58 burst assault rifle in mw3 right now listen this reminds me of the maa1 from black ops 2 listen i haven't had a lot of fun with the burst weapons in the recent cods but this one is definitely making a comeback in my heart let's go ahead and get into our honorable mention guys all right fam starting off with our first attachment we got the vt7 spirit fire suppressor it's gonna keep you undetected by the radar which is really important in mw3 because everybody's popping up on the radar it's gonna help you control that recoil control and get nice bow velocity with damage range also helping you as well making this a one burst kill at a lot of different ranges this gun's really broken guys for the next attachment we got the g dg 56 lsat barrel now listen i chose this one over the cdg for one reason and one reason only with burst weapons they do tend to kick up a lot and some people don't like that and it can be a huge turn off when wanting burst weapons but this can help you control that gun kick control initially when pressing that right trigger and also it's gonna help you with the recoil control altogether with a faster ttk with the bullet velocity and range added to it and since this is an ar losing movement in this game really isn't a big deal because you have movement and the movement is so fast that losing movement in the cons it's not such a big deal guys for our next attachment we're going with the slayer reflector optic now listen i've just been running this one on all my ars it feels good i've been obviously experimenting with the other ones they still do feel really good but this one just feels so clean i don't know what it is about this one but it's clean guys for our next attachment we ended up going with the 40 round mag i think just having a nice standard 40 round mag and ar helps a lot and it's a perfect perfect number just to have running around the map and guys, for the last attachment, we got the NATO high grain rounds. These are going to really be the bread and butter of this class setup. Getting the bullet velocity mixed with the damage range as well. A faster TTK and a longer damage distance. Guys, this is Lodi number six. The honorable mention in today's video, the DG58. Listen, this was one of the first weapons we ended up making a video on MW3. Listen, this thing is amazing. I love burst weapons. Listen, guys, let's go for 100 likes on today's video. Comment down below. What's your favorite loadout out of all of these listed here, you know, in this video? Listen, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys are enjoying MW3. And listen, like I said before, I've been seeing all my videos. We hit 10K. I'm giving away three copies of MW3. And you know what? I can't wait to be playing with some of you guys coming into Warzone Season 1 coming up pretty soon. But hey, I'll catch y'all later. Peace.